Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. Let's try to understand how to generate descriptives in Jamul. I'm using the employee data. Now, I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. This employee data contains the variable gender, which is a categorical variable. Education has been captured in such a way that if any employee has completed the education till 12th standard, it will be indicated as 12. First year of the college, 13. Second year of the college, 14. Job category, three job categories are there. Clerical, custodial and managerial. Salary, current salary is a continuous variable. Beginning salary is a continuous variable. Job time, that is an employee is with the company from how many months, the previous experience of an employee and the minority, an employee is present in minority or not. Now, descriptives, for descriptives, we'll click on exploration, descriptives. We know that salary is a continuous variable and therefore we can plot its mean, median and more. So you can transfer this salary into the variables. Now, any statistics which I require to be generated for the continuous variable, I'll click on statistics, mean, median, mode is on. If I click on mode, it will also generate the mode of it. You can see here, mean, median, and mode. Now, as it is a continuous variable, I can also have the histogram of it. So, I'll click here and activate the histogram. So, you can see here, it's having a histogram. It can also plot the density plot on it. Now, if I want this continuous salary to be bifurcated according to the gender, male and female, I'll split by gender. So, I'll get mean of female salary, mean of male salary, similarly median, mode. Moreover, the histogram will also be bifurcated into the male, M is male and F is female. The other charts or other plots which can be plotted when one of the variable is continuous and another is categorical, you click on box plot, then you will get the box plots. You can see here. These numbers indicate the outliers in the data. So 29 number observation is an outlier in the data. You can click on wall in plot here. So Violin plot is, uh, you can say, another representation of the box plot where you can, where you can understand one thing that where the width of the violin is more, the data is heavily loaded here, or rather, there is more data in this area, and that's a violin data. You can click on data jittered to see how the data has been clustered. So this is a way you can generate descriptives in Jamovi. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Jamovi. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.